Thank you for your interest in the North Charleston Fire Department. NCFD is hiring outside driver operators. As in many fire departments, the driver operator position is known as the engineer rank and is a promotion from the firefighter position. This is North Charleston's first time hiring engineers directly into the department. This presentation will describe the steps of the engineer hiring process to you as these steps are different than being hired for an entry level firefighter position. Similar to hiring firefighters, there are multiple tests to complete in the engineering hiring process. An engineer process guide provides all the details of this process and will be provided to you if you decide to continue. If you have any technical difficulties with this presentation, contact Deputy Chief Munn at 843-740-2616. The first step in the process is to view this presentation and acknowledge that you have completed it. The next step is to complete a City of North Charleston job application. The deadline for submitting for the engineer position is 5 p.m. on Friday, March 25th. You should submit your resume by 5 p.m. March 25th. And we are also requiring two recommendation letters that should be submitted by 5 p.m. on March 25th. Your job application, resume, and recommendation letters will be reviewed by North Charleston Fire Department staff to determine if you move forward in the process. NCFD staff will call engineer candidates that have been selected for an interview. The interviews will occur the week of April 11th at North Charleston City Hall in Fire Department Headquarters. Each interview should take no more than an hour to complete. After completing your interview, you will be scheduled for a physical fitness test on Friday, April 15th. Details regarding the job-related physical ability test will be covered later in this presentation. If you have passed the interview and the physical fitness test, you will be scheduled for the engine and aerial orientation. You will also be scheduled for the engineer written exam on May 17th and the engineer practical test on May 19th, 20th, or 23rd. The results of your testing will be assessed to determine if you will be provided a tentative job offer. The engineer job offer is dependent on completing the remaining steps in the hiring process. These include a background check, driving history check, drug screen, and medical physical. Minimum training requirements and experience are listed for the engineer position. They include emergency vehicle driver, pump operations one, aerial operations, fire instructor one, fire officer one, incident safety officer, traffic incident management, and at least one year of fire service driving experience. Any questions regarding out-of-state certifications should be directed to Deputy Chief Munn. Now I'll go through each step and provide more detail. This first step in the engineering hiring process is to complete this presentation and click on the Engineer Process Acknowledgement link at the end. Only complete the acknowledgement if you plan to continue with the engineering hiring process. Once the acknowledgement has been submitted, you will receive an electronic engineer process guide to the email you provided. The engineer process guide will provide all of the engineering hiring process information in a checklist format and more details regarding each test, including a list of study materials. The next step is to complete a job application. The City of North Charleston job application is available online on the North Charleston Human Resources website. A link to the application is provided in the engineer process guide. You can either print the job application and fill it out or complete it electronically. You can also get a printed job application at the Human Resources Department in North Charleston City Hall, located at 2500 City Hall Lane on the third floor. Under the position applied for, write Fire Department Engineer. Job applications must be complete, including your signature, to be considered. You can submit your application in person in Human Resources in North Charleston City Hall or by email to Kendra Holmes. Kendra's email is at the bottom of the job application and is included in the Engineer Process Guide. Your resume should include the following categories. Formal education, including high school and any college, regardless of whether a degree was completed. Work history, begin with your current job and any promotions. Include any awards you have earned, followed by any additional jobs. Training history. List all job-related courses and certifications obtained. Be prepared to provide copies of transcripts or certificates to verify all certifications listed in your resume. 
special skills, list skills other than those obtained by courses. Examples include mechanical skills or computer skills. Fire service related memberships or activities. List organizations you are a member of. For examples include the International Association of Fire Chiefs or the Low Country Firefighter Support Team. You can submit your resume by email to Deputy Chief Munn or hand deliver it to the fire department headquarters, 2500 City Hall Lane, second floor. Remember, your resume must be submitted by 5 p.m. on March 25th to continue in the process. The next step is to submit two recommendation letters. These letters should include the following information. Summary of work performance based on direct supervision or work evaluations. Reference additional responsibilities that pertain to the North Charleston Fire Department's mission and vision statements, including any special teams, committee, or volunteer activities. Reference specific patterns of behavior that represent the North Charleston Fire Department values of honor, courage, and compassion. Indicate if the candidate has successfully completed the driver operator job performance tasks provided in the engineer process guide. Reference specific reasons why they believe the candidate would perform well in the engineer's positions. The two recommendations should be from someone you would work with for at least one year. You can submit your two recommendation letters by email or hand deliver to the fire department headquarters. Remember, your recommendation letters must be submitted by 5 p.m. on March 25th to continue in the process. At this point, all engineer applications, resumes, and recommendation letters will be reviewed. Those engineer applicants that have been selected to continue in the process will move on to the next step. If selected to continue, you will receive a call from North Charleston Fire Department staff who will schedule you for an interview the week of April 11th. Appropriate attire is business or business casual. When checking in for your interview at the front desk, we will make a copy of your driver's license and you will also sign permission to conduct both a South Carolina and national background check. The interview will be with four to five North Charleston Fire Department staff at North Charleston Fire Department headquarters located on the second floor of City Hall. Interview questions will be job related. It is expected that you know basic information about the North Charleston Fire Department prior to the interview. The interview will take no more than one hour to complete. The next step is the physical ability test or JARPAT. You will be given a time to report to the JARPAT testing site on Cross County Road in North Charleston. Dress for physical fitness. Shorts and open-toed shoes are not allowed. Make sure to arrive at least 15 minutes before your assigned test time to get your vitals taken and sign the waiver. If your vitals are not within the recommended ranges, our medical coordinator will assess you and determine if you can participate in the JARPAT. A walkthrough will be conducted on the course so you can get details on how to complete each event. In addition, there is a detailed presentation with video that will be included in the engineer process guide for review. We provide personal protective equipment for the test. This includes a hard hat, leather work gloves, 40 pound weight vest, and knee pads. The knee pads are optional. You are not permitted to use your own personal protective equipment or weight vest. The JARPAC course is made up of nine events. Those events are truck dismount, extended dry hose line, equipment retrieval, forcible entry, charge hose line advance, window entry, stair, stair climb, ceiling pool simulation, and victim rescue. You will have eight minutes and 30 seconds to complete the nine events on the course. Late arrivals will not be allowed to test. There will be an engine and aerial orientation provided for those outside of NCFD testing for engineer. It will be offered sometime between the physical ability test and the written exam. It will include an apparatus and pump orientation for a North Charleston Fire Department Class A pumper and a North Charleston Fire Department aerial. Personal protective equipment of helmet and gloves will be provided for you. A waiver and release of liability will be signed to be able to participate. The written exam is scheduled for Tuesday, May 17th. The testing location will be provided to you by North Charleston Fire Department staff. The written exam will be the same exam given to North Charleston firefighters testing for engineer positions. It will consist of at least 100 questions related to the study material provided in the engineer process guide. You will have two hours to complete the written exam. The practical exam is scheduled for May 19, 20, and 23rd. The testing location will be provided to you by North Charleston Fire Department staff. 
The practical exam will be the same exam given to North Charleston firefighters testing for the engineer position. The engineer practical includes a pumping evaluation and a troubleshooting evaluation. The practical exam will use the same North Charleston Fire Department frontline Class A pumper and or aerial for all engineer candidates when possible. The engineer candidate being tested will be videoed during the exam to document actions and pump pressures. The video may be reviewed by evaluators if they need to verify actions and pressures when scoring. You will also be scheduled for a drug screen and a physical. Allow two to three hours to complete the physical. The physical is based on requirements listed in the NFPA 1582 Standard on Comprehensive Occupational Medical Program for Fire Departments. The City of North Charleston requires all employees to be vaccinated against COVID-19 unless an exemption is approved. Proof of vaccination is required to be submitted. Your point of contact during this process will continue to be North Charleston Fire Department staff. To complete the NCFD orientation process, you will participate in eight weeks of training on a Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. schedule. Phase two training includes firefighter health and wellness, introduction to technical rescue, technical rescuer, water rescue operations, and support company operations. Phase three training includes department new hire orientation, hazardous materials orientation, dispatch center tour, traffic incident management, high performance CPR, tactical emergency casualty care, response task force, skills evaluations, PPE and SCBA classroom and skills, bailout system training, engine company operations, truck company operations, and rescue company operations. After completing these courses, you will be assigned to a shift, station, and apparatus as an engineer. There are three shifts that operate on a 24-hour on-duty, 48-hour off-duty schedule. Shift change is at 8 a.m. every morning. Every new employee with the City of North Charleston completes a six-month probation period and will receive an evaluation at the end of that period to determine if they meet work standards. Starting pay for the engineer position is $46,074. Starting pay for an engineer with EMT certification is $48,377. There are many benefits provided to City of North Charleston employees. This list highlights some of the benefits provided by the City. Additional information and details about benefits is included in the Engineer Process Guide. The City of North Charleston is an equal opportunity employer and it is a policy and practice of the City to recruit, hire, train, and promote employees without discrimination on the basis of race, color, religion, political affiliation, physical disability, age, sex, or national origin, except when sex, age, or physical condition is a bona fide occupational qualification. This concludes the engineer process presentation. If you're interested in continuing through the engineer hiring process, click the link in the video description below to review and submit the engineer process acknowledgement. After completing this acknowledgement, you will receive an electronic engineer process guide. If you're not interested in continuing, we thank you for your time and attention. We always accept applications for entry-level firefighter positions, both with and without experience. If you have any questions about this process, contact Deputy Chief Joe Munn. If you would like to learn more about the North Charleston Fire Department, visit our website.